We likely won't have to wait much longer for the official debut of Samsung's much-anticipated trifold smartphone, reportedly named the Galaxy G Fold. A recent leak suggests it will share many characteristics with the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7. According to reliable insider Panda Flash Pro, both devices will feature identical speaker systems and integration methods within the frame. This setup is expected to resemble what we saw with the Galaxy Z Fold 6.2. Furthermore, both foldables are rumored to share a similar hinge design and offer a fully flat folding structure. That likely translates into fewer display creases and bumps, something past rumors have hinted at. This shared component strategy could help Samsung cut costs as more hardware will be reused across the Galaxy G Fold and Z Fold 7, even though the G Fold adds another hinge and a third panel. Samsung has already teased a trifold concept, confirming its development. However, specific details remain scarce. The device is expected to deliver peak brightness at 2,600 nits and support 25W wired charging, matching current flagships. Unlike the outward folding Huawei Mate XT, the Galaxy Trifold will reportedly fold inward, necessitating both an external and internal display. The display sizes are said to be 6.49 inches for the outer screen and 9.96 inches diagonally for the inner panel. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Galaxy Z Flip 7 are projected to launch in July, and the G Fold could debut simultaneously, though its release may come later and stock could be limited. During its Q1 2025 earnings report, Samsung emphasized strengthening competitiveness via form factor innovation. Given that the company hasn't introduced a new foldable shape since 2020, the Tri-Fold likely represents its next bold step. Samsung also noted that foldables will provide large display experiences, possibly referencing the Fold's reported 9.9-inch main screen, considerably larger than the Galaxy Z Fold SXS 7.6-inch display. While nothing is official, growing rumors suggest the Galaxy G Fold will arrive this year, supporting previous predictions. However, it's possible the G Fold might launch exclusively in China and South Korea, making global availability uncertain. Still, future versions may roll out worldwide. We certainly hope Samsung makes it broadly accessible. After all, while Samsung pioneered folding phones, it hasn't significantly evolved its designs in recent years. A trifold handset could breathe fresh life into the foldable category. Samsung has confirmed it's developing a trifold smartphone, and new leaks offer insight into its display specifications. The latest update from renowned tipster digital chat station reveals that the main screen could measure about 9.9 inches, slightly smaller than the 10.2-inch panel on the Huawei Mate XT. It aligns closely with earlier reports suggesting a 9.96-inch primary display and a 6.49-inch external screen, differing notably from the Mate XT's layout. Whereas the Mate XT folds outward with one panel always visible, Samsung's trifold is expected to fold inward, covering the main display and requiring a secondary screen. This same source indicates that Samsung's trifold could debut around July, coinciding with the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7. Additional rumors suggest the panels will offer 2,600 nits of brightness, matching the Z Fold 6, an impressive spec. There's also chatter that the device could be branded as the Galaxy G Fold. Though not confirmed, the name aligns with Samsung's current foldable naming strategy. The leak also claims the Trifold will support 8K video recording at 30 frames per second, although this capability may be exclusive to the main rear camera. That could be disappointing for buyers, especially if the G Fold commands a premium price. We recommend waiting for more information to emerge. So stay tuned. Let's discuss the foldable dilemma. The core issue with foldables isn't poor performance. In fact, even a quick glance at top foldable reviews shows their value. These devices offer space-saving versatility, whether via clamshell designs or book-style formats that turn large screens into pocket-sized devices. The biggest drawback? Price. Book-style foldables typically start at $1,700, roughly double the cost of flagship slab phones. That's a steep ask, even when amortized over several years, and it puts these devices out of reach for many consumers. Clamshell foldables are more affordable, 
but even the cheapest, like the Motorola Razr 2025, still cost several hundred dollars. At that price, users become more sensitive to foldable second major drawback, feature compromises compared to non-folding flagships. Foldables have made strides, but still lag in certain features. A prime example is Samsung's 200MP camera sensor. First seen on the Galaxy S23 Ultra in 2023, this lens has notably been absent from the Z Fold lineup. To date, it's only appeared in a special edition Z Fold variant with limited distribution. Other Z Fold models max out at 50MP, foldable users not only missed the 200MP sensor, they also lacked the 108MP primary camera introduced on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Rumors suggest this may change with the Galaxy Z Fold 7 finally adopting the 200MP lens, but the fact remains, foldables have trailed behind in core hardware. It's difficult to justify paying more for a foldable when non-folding flagships offer superior specs at lower prices. Sales reflect this struggle. In 2023, foldables represented just 1.6% of the global smartphone market, a figure projected to reach only 5% by 2028. While demand is growing, it's still modest. And whenever the G Fold launches, expect it to be more expensive than existing Z Fold models. For reference, the Z Fold 6 launched with a starting price of $1, $899.99-$1, $799-2, $749 At Samsung's recent unpacked event, the company teased its tri-fold smartphone, and we may now know its name. Leaks from Korea suggest the device will be dubbed the Galaxy G Fold. It's expected to feature a Mate XT-style trifold form factor and a nearly 10-inch screen. The G Fold may weigh similarly to Huawei's model, which is just under 300G, though it won't be as slim. Huawei's device measures only 3.6 millimeters when fully unfolded. The G Fold will introduce screen and panel innovations not seen in the Z Fold lineup. The internal display may reach 9.96 inches, while the folded cover screen could measure 6.54 inches, slightly larger than the Z Fold SXS. A key question remains, what does the G stand for in Galaxy G Fold? It may simply continue the brand's alliteration, or G could stand for Galaxy itself. Whatever the name means, expectations are high. We've come a long way since the rocky launch of the first Galaxy Fold, and it's unlikely Samsung will repeat the same mistakes. Regardless of any initial hiccups, the G Fold is expected to be a premium foldable that honors the Galaxy Fold legacy. Foldables still trail behind traditional phones in terms of sales and appeal, and with the Fold's extra screen and potentially high price tag, it's unlikely to suddenly shift the market.